Hello, I'm Darcy Bustle, and I'm proud to be supporting the Leprosy Mission's Unconditional Appeal. I first met people living with leprosy three years ago, whilst on a trip with my family in Mozambique. It was shocking to discover so many cases of leprosy hidden away in remote rural areas. But I was struck by the love, grit and determination of those working to find and treat people affected by it. People like Zaina. She knows from personal experience just how devastating leprosy can be. Zaina was a young mother when she first noticed discolored patches on her skin. She didn't know what they were, but when neighbors recognized the signs of leprosy, they banished her to the forest and took away her three-year-old son. Thanks to the unconditional efforts of Leprosy Mission staff, Zaina was found, treated and cured. Today, she is a leader of her community, helping to find and welcome home other people affected by leprosy. <laughs> Anyone who needs help comes to me, and the people who once banished me now come and participate in our meetings. We are changing people's attitudes. I am so happy. I wish I could take my heart out and show everyone how happy it is. Zaina is just one member of a large community of leprosy changemakers, made up of health workers, public speakers and volunteers, all determined to make leprosy a thing of the past. And you can join them and become a leprosy changemaker too, by giving a gift to set this all in motion. When you become a leprosy changemaker, you'll help find people affected by the disease, no matter where they are, and get them the urgent medical treatment they need. In the far north of Mozambique, Gabriel, a health worker trained by the leprosy mission, has been on the road for three hours. He's heard from local villagers about a young woman who is showing early signs of leprosy. If he finds someone with symptoms, he undertakes a thorough assessment, checking for patches, loss of feeling, and inflamed nerves. People often worry about what will happen to them if leprosy is confirmed. So Gabriel is ready to offer help and advice. Often, when a patient first receives the diagnosis, they feel frightened, dejected, and need supporting. We have to prepare them because the treatment is long. We also talk to the community. We invite them to a place, a community hub, where we give lectures about leprosy and stigma to reassure people. The Leprosy Mission is helping communities to build hubs across Mozambique. These are places of hope where people affected by leprosy are welcomed unconditionally. A place where they can meet without fear of stigma or rejection and receive the care and treatment they need. But a hub is much more than a place where leprosy is cured. It is the beating heart of village life. A safe space where everyone is welcome where health camps are held and where communities learn about leprosy through song, dance and drama. Please, will you help build more community hubs by giving a gift to the Unconditional Appeal? And if you give before the 24th of April, your donation will be doubled by the UK government at no extra cost to you, meaning your gift will change twice as many people's lives. Please join our community of leprosy changemakers and help make this ancient disease a thing of the past in Mozambique. Together with your help, we will stop at nothing to prevent leprosy and end the disability and prejudice it causes. That is unconditional. Thank you. 24 pounds, double to 48 pounds, finds and cures two people of leprosy.
161 pounds doubled to 322 pounds pays for a community health camp 5,000 pounds doubled to 10,000 pounds builds a hub of hope.